Hi, Mike Kennedy here with you, and we've got here that's kind of nice. We're going to do a comparison because we've got a nice specimen of wild carrot or Queensland lace over here. Then we've got another nice specimen of yarrow over here, and they're both in flower. So we're going to get a chance to look at the differences. Now this flower head is called an umbral, okay? So you can notice with carrots, if we look under it, it's a single umbral. In other words, they all come from the center. Okay, it's not branched. You can see this one too. They all come from the center. You see there's some little leaves, odd leaves underneath here as well. Now let's take a look at the leaves themselves. Now the leaves have are uh, typical carrot pattern leaves, okay? The also to the stems are hairy. And there's a little poem that goes with this, or the idea that, you know, if this is Queen Anne's lace, Queen Anne would have hairy legs. <laughs> so that's supposedly one way to distinguish it from other plants, the fact that the stem is hairy. Now, so we've seen the, the leaf structure, the stem structure, and the flower structure of this second ear plant. Now we're going to go over and look at the yarrow second ear plant. Now the first thing we notice on the top of the plant is that this has a compound umbral. In other words, instead of coming from a single point, you have many little ones here, okay? They're making up a flower head that kind of looks the same on the top, but underneath it's quite different. They're multi uh, uh, many different little umbrals put together, okay? And all we look at the leaf detail here, and you can see the leaves are remarkably different. They're feathery, but they come out just as one, uh, one stem-like and then they have the leaf, the feathery things on the edge. They don't branch at all like the carrot leaves would. You also have here a first year yarrow plant. And you can see the first year plant. Uh, here's one that was cut. That was probably a second year plant. But the first year plant just forms a set of leaves. It doesn't come up in a stalk like this. So they're uh, more of a rosetta close to the ground. Here you see some more yarrow. Uh, some of this may be second year plants that are trying to come back up again because this is an area that's been mowed. Now for yarrow, the use is with the leaves, so it doesn't really matter whether it's a second or first year plant. You take the leaves and you dry them, and that's what use. It, what's been used uh, traditionally for probably thousands of years is as a blood clotting agent for wounds. And people use it for other things as well. Now wild carrot is primarily used for the root, but once the plant has gotten to this stage, it's the second year plant, and we're in uh, the end of June, uh, the root's not good for anything. If I was to pull up this root, it would be very woody, it wouldn't be that big because again, the first year the plant is focusing on storing the energy in that root and the second year it's using that energy up in the root to produce all its flower heads so that it can reproduce. Because you know plants and animals that's the major drive is to, to reproduce and produce offspring. And that's what this plant is doing. So you have to find a first year plant. And what you'll find is a plant that uh, has the same characteristic leaves and uh, it doesn't have these tall flower stalks with it. And that's the type of root that you can pull up and eat. But this one, like I say, this would be eat like eating I've tried these before, and it's like eating a carrot-flavored pencil. You know, uh, if you pull this plant up, uh, there's no mistaking the smell of the root, especially if you break it. It, ha it reeks of the carrot smell. So that's a really good way to identify it. 
Uh, you, if you know what a carrot smells like, you'll be able to identify this. Now we have this little plant here. Ah, is this wild carrot? No, this is ragweed. Okay, you can see it has some of that similar, you may look at it first and say, ah, similar leaf structure, but no, this is not. And if you were, we were to pull this up and smell this root, it definitely doesn't have that carrot smell. Okay, so here we have ragweed. Here we compare the leaves. You can see the ragweed leaves are very symmetrical and round-edged, where the carrot leaves are, are more pointy. Okay, the, the, the ragweed leaves have, are thicker, and again, than the wild carrot leaves are. But again, the root is the thing that can tell you for sure. Okay, here's our last plant we're looking at in this area, and this is poison ivy. Leaves of three, let them be. We've got a big patch of it here. Uh, I've never gotten uh, poison ivy, and I intend to never get it either. <laughs> I'm never going to touch it. I stay away from it as much as possible. Here we have a curly dock plant, and it's going to seed. You can see the seed heads. Here's our characteristic, but really small and stunted leaves. Uh, my area has been extremely dry this year, and so the plants aren't... Uh, I've seen these plants uh, like four or five feet tall before, and this one's uh, not even two feet tall. But you can see that the seed heads are starting to change color, and eventually these will be red. change but these will be red and you know the streets of Gorham will just be lined with this stuff there's so much of it around curly dock see the curly leaves 